when I first heard that phrase, you know, you're in a spiritual battle, I had no idea what that meant, Moira. I just didn't have a clue. And, but that was the beginning of my journey of God really helping me to understand that we are in a spiritual battle. And much as you desired to have that <sighs> instant stepping out mm -hmm. into complete freedom, the Lord did encourage you by giving you a vision Mm -hmm. of what he was doing in your life. That's right. Tell us about That's it. That's right. Well, it was, you know, as I mentioned before, when I was extremely depressed, I was striving within myself just outwardly to be a certain kind of person, thinking that would change me on the inside. And I kind of translated that now into my Christian life. I was going to strive outwardly to be a good Christian, you know, and God gave me this vision and it was this outward circle of light and then on the inside, it was dark. But then right in the core of that darkness became a brighter light that just completely ate up all the darkness. And God just spoke to my heart and said, I will change you from the inside out. And God began to show me that this was His work in me. And I had to just keep surrendering to Him every day. And, um, and as I said, it did not go away overnight, but it has been a journey of learning to walk with Him, learning to trust Him every day, learning to surrender those thoughts to Him every day and really receive the power that, that comes from Him that I didn't understand before. That's wonderful. And you are sharing that as I as we were talking before the program. We don't identify with everybody. And some watching, uh, it, saying these things, if I said them, it wouldn't mean the same, but mm -hmm. coming from you, Glenda, uh, there are people in our church who, who need to know mm -hmm. that this has been your journey Absolutely. because they need to find someone they know will understand. Yeah, the truth is always the same, mm -hmm. but coming from that person who's been there and done that. In fact, you found your story in the Bible, mm -hmm. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to read this. This is, this is a great scripture in Psalm 40. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. Now, I must admit sometimes I wasn't patient, but I learned patience through this journey. And he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair. Out of the mud and mire, he set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He's given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be astounded, and they will put their trust in the Lord. And it's Moira, happening. that is my prayer today for, for people listening, that they will see that I'm in this place now where I'm able now to pour out and help others. You know, God who comforts us in our trials and our difficulties so that we in turn can comfort others with that same comfort. And that comfort you are taking around the world. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a few pictures yes. uh, quickly to see you um, on, on a mission. Mm -hmm. And where is Thank this, you. Glenda? This is in the Dominican. Yeah, this was several years ago. We went to the Dominican Republic on a, just a short-term mission trip. And there we were in the community um, just visiting and connecting with, with some of the people. And this is in Zambia. This is um, at the, the Lazarus Project. Where, yes, indeed. Yes. Which we sponsor. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to see some family here. This is your husband? Yes, this is my husband, Fred, and, and our daughter, Amanda. Oh, where she ever look like you. Visiting her in Mexico, where she is a full time missionary. Mm -hmm. This is a great story, an encouraging one. And I took, correct me if I'm wrong, two key strategies. Resist the enemy mm -hmm. and renew the mind. Mm -hmm. Resist the lies of the enemy and replace those mm -hmm. thoughts. Well, what does the Bible say? Taking every thought captive. I mm -hmm. love the way it says that because it, it's every single one. Because if you, if you go down, if you, if you embrace one, there's a risk of going that mm -hmm. rabbit trail. Mm -hmm. The enemy can take you to bad places. Mm -hmm. So reel that thought in mm -hmm. and come back to the truth of what God says about you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I I'm sure there is someone watching today uh, who's in that place of hopelessness and just doesn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. I wonder, Glenda, if you would lead in a prayer for that sure. person. I'd be happy to. Lord, I want to pray for that person right now who, um, who is feeling without hope. And I pray that you would help him or her to open their heart to you and, and to come just as they are with whatever measure of faith they have. 
And Lord, I'm reminded of the father who brought his son to you and you said anything is possible for those who believe. And immediately the father said, help me overcome my unbelief. And so God helped them to get past their fear, their doubt, um, anything that is hindering them from fully surrendering their life to you today. Help them to trust you. I pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, today you may be pressed into knowing no helper but God. That's a good place. That is a good place. Mm. You know what? Glenda has helped to train the men and women who are on our prayer lines. And that's so encouraging, Glenda, passing on what you've learned. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you that there is someone available right now for you, uh, someone who will listen to you and pray, believing that there can be hope in your life today. We're here 24 seven, holidays, weekends, don't suffer in silence. Today could be a new beginning for you. Glenda, thank you so much You're very for welcome. surprising us with your vulnerable, sharing here and I'm going to encourage you to get up in front of that congregation <laughs> and tell them to. <laughs> God bless Thanks, you and keep Laura. you dangerous for Thank him. You. Thank you.